gang. What's pop? What's pop? What's pop? Melanation, Melanin gang. What's pop? All right. So this is going to be your bonus um, Pisces reading. Okay. I know it's the end of the month. I just dropped the um, Aquarius bonus reading. If you have been waiting on that. Um, and then we're going to follow back up in April with all the Zodiacs. All right. Um, I did go back and watch a few seconds of the original video. I will have it linked down below for you guys. Um, also, in that reading, they were talking about a neighbor that might have a crush on you or somebody who lives in your neighborhood or around you or somebody who knows you and knows where you live and kind of like keep tabs or eyes on you. OK, I also was starting to get the taste of salt and vinegar chips like. You leave like a um a sour taste in this person's mouth. You could be like a sour patch to this person of some sort. Okay. Also, the um the song that I was getting is the roots speech in Erica Badu, You Got Me. The main focuses in that video was being confident with the opposite sex, resourcing resources and time management, outgrowing rooms and finding new ones. Okay. Those was your main focuses for that reading. <laughs> The lyrics go a little bit something like this. It says, if you were worried about where I've been or who I saw, or what club I went to with my homies, baby, don't worry, you know that you got me. If you were worried about where <laughs> I've been or who I saw, or what club I went to with my homies, one forty five o'clock, baby, don't worry, you know that you got me. Also, today is March 25th. We only got five more days. 5.51 on the fucking clock, okay? So, again, with that six birthing, change birthing, outgrowing rooms and finding new ones, okay? Stop playing. It goes to say, somebody told me that this planet was small. We used to live in the same building, on the same floor. Never met before until overseas on tour. And Pika's Ethiopian queen from Philly taking classes abroad. She studied flash film. Oh, ah, she studied film and photo flash focus record. Says she working on a flick and could my team do the store. And she loved how and she loved my show in Paris at Cicely Memorial. And how I stepped off the stage and took a piece of her heart. We knew from the start things fall apart and tension shatter. She like that shit don't matter when I get home. Get at it through letter phone, whatever. Let's think. Let's get together. Shit. You think not what went. What? I went home and forgot. Time passed. We up in Philly. She up in my spot telling me the things I'm telling her is making her hot. Started building with her constantly like Jill Scott. Now she in my world like hip hop and keep telling me, telling me. Okay. It says, Hey, yo, me, I'm the type that's always catching flights. Sometimes I got to be out at the height of the night. That's when she flip on me on some, oh, that's right. It seems like I'm on the... I'm on the side and you're in the uh, and you're in love with your might. I know you gotta get that paper, daddy. Keep that shit tight, but I need some sort of love in my life. You dig me? Now nah, I was talking with my sister from New York City. Said she know this ball player. He think I'm pretty psych. I'm playing boo. You know, with you I'm staying boo. And when and brothers be bumping game, I don't hear what they saying boo. When you out there in the world, I'm still your girl. With all my classes, I don't have time for life's thrills. So when you step in on stage, think of me when you rhyme. And don't be listening to them homies. They leading you blind. Well, I could trust her where I'm like her king for real. New York, you know relationships get ill. And Jill telling me, telling me, telling me. Okay? Some of y'all could be named Jill or they could call you Jill or something like that. Um, I'm hearing Jack and Jew went up the hill, like, ride or die for this person. Jack fell down and bumped his crown and Jill came tumbling after, like, I got you. You got me, like, reading this shit together type shit, okay? So, again, this could be, like, a neighbor wanting this with you. This could be a person that has a crush on you. Um, I'm seeing Melvin when Melvin follow Diamond Home and Players Club. Like, this is just, like, you know, we're going to get deeper into it. We're going to get deeper into it. What is this person? Um, what is this person's intention crushing on my collective? What is this person's intention crushing on my collective? Matter of fact, let me get the motherfucking prayer first. Is Yeah, the way these cards are shuffling. Uh, like that. 
God, grant us the serenity to set the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Yes, I said, God, grant us the serenity to set the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Ashe, 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 and yeah, please clear all these tools for our Pisces for reading. That's 25th from 24th. But our readings are time. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, I have many playlists. I do more than just Zodiac, so go check out the playlist or explore the page. All right. And if you haven't smashed them buttons, you need to be smashing. Go ahead and smash them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Must say, must say, must say, must say, must say, must say, must say. All right, let's hop into it. What is this person's intention with my collective that has a crush? What is this person's intention who got this crush on my collective? Like, what is their intention, spirit? What's their intentions? Perfume, cologne, one hit wonder. Okay, so if somebody's attracted to like the way you smell or something, the way you carry yourself, your like your aroma or something. Also, somebody's trying to figure out if you're a one hit wonder or not. This coming up straight or down. They like they see your talent or something. They trying to figure out if you're a one hit wonder or not. What else is this person's intentions with my collective? all the lights on so yeah this person has all the lights on trying to figure out if you are a one hit wonder this is heavy on their good they're trying to figure out if you are a one hit wonder or not they got all the lights on here turn on the lights in here baby extra bright i want y'all to see this turn on the lights in here baby extra lights i want you to see all of the lights fast cars no Fast cars, shooting stars, all of the lights, all of the lights. Okay. Then I got pressure, pressure licious. I'm okay with being nasty. Hey, look at Shorty right there. I'm okay with being nasty. Like somebody is pressure licious. Somebody is crushing on you. Somebody wants to, you know, if you give them a shot, they definitely going to take it. Breach of contract. Somebody know if they come towards you, it's going to be a breach of contract. It's going to come off cringe, creepy, or something of like to where you might get upset or look at them different or not be in that same type of energy with them because it's like why are you stalking me and following me why are you doubting me but yet trying to be in my face or why are you clout chasing okay that is how it's going to be coming off to you pisces like some type of weird ass um, frenemy competition or something like that could be going on what is it about this my collective's perfume or cologne. I'm like, I'm here. Maybe it's my chain. No. What do you say? Maybe it's the way I walk. Maybe it's my chain. Maybe it's my something. I forgot how that song goes. I have a link down below. Maybe it's my watch. Maybe it's my chain. <laughs> what is it about the collective's perfume that got this person going crazy? I'm here aphrodisiac aphrodisiac something about an aphrodisiac okay you guys could be heavy into like oils or make your own or you mix like different fragrances together or something in the reverse buy your own battles or your lessons will be harder in the reverse cut off game strong no arguments needed So again, I'm hearing like this could be like some type of competition or something like I'm hearing um I'm hearing Jill Scott. Mm-mm. Sure smells good. <laughs> she was like, I love that smell on you. She's like, I tried to buy it for my other man, but it didn't smell the same. <laughs> you know what they say. Not everything is for everybody. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm also you know, this person always in your business asking you something or something or like like every time you get something like they're trying to copy off of it or get it like let's say you got your hair curl they might get that same type of curl but a different color. Let's say you got like some type of name brand outfit and you got it 
You know what I'm saying? You got a small one or something, like whether it's a person, like they go get a big one or you got a big one, they get the small version, the same color, different color. You know what I'm saying? It's like something like that. You know, like, but it don't look the same. It don't, I'm hearing like who wore it better. Like it don't look the same. Don't come off the same. It's not the same. Me and my bitch is bad and bougie. Cooking up dope with a Uzi. Somebody mad you bad and bougie. They could have gotten into an argument with a person because they like, oh, this person always smells good or something, but they took it as a um different. I'm seeing I'm also seeing those clips where it's like um a girl or the opposite sex tells a joke and that person's person laugh or something with heart, and later on they say that same joke and the person doesn't react or do anything. I'm seeing some shit like that. Okay. What's going on? Like, why why is this person trying to figure out if my collective is a one hit wonder? Like they trying to figure out if you're relevant or not. They trying to um they trying to get the school. They trying to get the school. But why? You know what they say? Not everything is for everybody. Dine and dash. Receiving contracts, loans, credit, etc. in reverse. They're trying to see what you on and try to cloud chase after you to see what they next come up gonna be. This person only likes to be around people that they can come up around. But sometimes that's not a bad thing. Like, okay, this could be about that like outgrowing rooms or something. Like somebody trying to figure out like if they're still in these rooms, how are you able to go be in the rooms that you are in? How are you connected to the people that you are connected to? Yet, it looks like on the outside appearance, you're still in the same position. That's what I'm getting from this. Somebody is following you, trying to go follow behind the things you are doing, but they cannot afford it. So they might have to parking lot watch. Dining and dash, which means they can't afford all the things you're getting, so their experience is going to be shortened. So they can only peep in time so much with you, or something like that. Make it how it resonates. Why does this person think that my collective is pressure licious? That's probably why it'd be pressure licious. So they're like, what the fuck is going on? Why, <laughs> why does this person think my collective is pressure licious? Why do they think this Pisces is pressure licious? The hangover, vacation, vacation, vacation. Memory is key. Somebody's probably watching you go on these vacations. Somebody probably has a um, memory of you saying certain things, and now those things are starting to come to fruition. And again, they're trying to figure out how did you manifest these things. They want to know. They want to ride the wave. But it's not what you do. It's how you do it. Like, you don't, you don't learn by being jealous. You learn by actually being genuine and asking questions. You actually learn by taking the advice that you ask for and applying it to your talents. Your, you know what I'm saying? Like You can't just come around somebody and think that you're about to just steal all they sauce and then get mad when you can't do it like them or don't get the same experience as them. It would never work. That's, that's like You mean a monitor spirit. You're throwing black magic. On more than one level. That's like evil eye at its highest. Like you cannot do that. What do they reach a breach of contract with? With my collective. What contract did they reach breach with my collective? What is going on with this breach of contract? No more baby showers for you. What are you thinking? Okay, so somebody, you could have been helping somebody with their kids or something, Pisces. Somebody, like, overstepped their boundaries with um with you and, and their kids or something, I'm hearing. Low income, why pay more when you can pay less? Okay, like, somebody's trying to lowball you, like, oh, well, I shouldn't have to pay you this for watching my kids because you get this, this, and that. And it's like, why are you pocket watching the fuck I get over there? Like, if we had this agreement of this for watching these kids or whatever with these kids and that's what the fuck it is like why are you worried about 
with my manners doing or if I got this new job or I got this new hustle or I got this new opportunity. Like, that don't got shit to do with you. Run me my motherfucking bread. And maybe you could be trying to look into, like, you know what I'm saying? Why are they being like this? And that has another thing to do with outgrowing these rooms. You're not no longer going to have to be babysitting people, kids, and putting up with people doing stupid ass shit. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be able to surpass that. This is a stepping stone for you. Those dudes breaking and entering. Okay. OG Bobby Johnson. This is, yeah, this is turning, this is growing, growing, you're growing. Also, you could have told somebody, like, you don't want to watch their kids because their kids was bad as hell or something, too. And they probably feel like that was a breach of y'all contract. Like, oh, you can't talk about my kids. If you want me to sit here and watch these kids, but they don't have no respect for, you know what I'm saying, you or whatever the fuck, like, why the fuck would you want to sit there and watch them? Hell no, you watch your own kids. You tell your kids to watch your kids. I'm not doing this. Because it's like, it's like, it's like a catch-22. Like, you want me to watch them, but... I can't discipline them. Like, not saying all discipline has to be like you're, you're whooping them, but you can't, like, tell them certain shit and they actually, like, listen to certain things like that. And then, like, this person can be like, oh, I'm going to take care of it. Well, they're taking care of it is ignoring it. And saying, oh, I'm here now to watch them, so you ain't got to worry about it. That's not taking care of the situation, and they're still going to be disrespectful. You feel me? That be, it's more to it. Then money children need, yes. These could be like some spoiled ass kids, like they get rewarded for bad behavior type shit. And you probably like, I'm fucking done with this shit. You probably spoke your piece on it. Y'all could live, like I'm saying, y'all could live around each other or in the same area or something like that. Something to where somebody could be around you or see what you're doing. Like y'all shop at the same grocery stores or something. Something. Also, they might not be infested with actual bugs at their house, but they're infested with demonic behavior, low vibrational behavior. Okay. Oh, child. Well, okay, Pisces. So you you are cutting somebody off. They don't reach a breach of contract. Um, even even if this is like um even your child's parent or something like that like whoever it is that you're having this issue with kids and speaking on a situation okay and also with somebody trying to cloak your life and cloak your blessings coming in but it's not gonna work and also whatever cologne or perfume or soap that you are using right now it is attracting a lot i'm hearing um aromatherapy i'm hearing patchouli oil i'm hearing um rose oil okay like something that soaks into the skin and it your aroma changes like some shit like that Who's this person wearing this? What is going on? Okay. Hello, perfume. Fight your own battles or your lessons will be harder in the reverse. Cut off game strong. No arguments needed. So it's like right now you're not even caring about all the changes going on. Like you're allowing the changes to go as they need to go because you're understanding that you're going through an ascension right now. You might not understand that this perfume or cologne is helping you, but it is. What else does my collective need to know about this perfume or cologne that they are using at this time? Knight of Wands in reverse. It has things coming in fast. They're not coming in slow. That's why you like, I ain't even arguing with you. Like, if I argue with you, I'm about to slow down my process. Like, bitch, get the fuck out my face. Get the fuck out my face. Bitch, get the fuck out my face. <laughs> okay, it says one hit wonder. All the lights on. Dining dash. Are you trying to see if you dining or dashing if you really receiving these loans and shit like that? Because they're not receiving it. Then they're trying to figure out how you're receiving something. If you're babysitting for them, how are you doing 
things that they're not able to do. Like, I feel like that's really where this is coming from. What is going on with this one hit wonder? Why do they feel like my collective is a one hit wonder? The sun card, all the lights on, you are the fucking star. You the diamond in the rug. They mad because you shiny. Like I said, you're able to do shit that they're not able to fucking do. Why Why is this person that's hating not receiving, is not receiving anything? Why is this person that's stalking or hating not receiving anything? Well, we know it's because y'all in some low vibration. I'm taking all these cards. You don't have to make it a little bit more simple, spirit. Why is this person that's stalking or hating not receiving anything? Why is this person stalking or hating not receiving anything? Why is this person stalking or hating not receiving anything? Seven of Cups in reverse. They're definitely not receiving. Because <sighs> you're the emperor, you're the king. Or this person abused their power. I'm hearing this person abuse their power. This person is not receiving anything. It's not because they abused their power. So all the things they had, and in a little short few to none, they're gonna be daydreaming about the shit that they fucking had. They're about to be daydreaming about the shit that they used to have. Because all that shit they talking about, you're about to get it. They want an energy swap so fucking bad. They're about to get this energy swap. I'm seeing Wish Upon a Star with the sisters, the Disney movie, and all those and all those other movies are like when um the Lindsay Lohan movie where she switched roles with her mom, and what's that other one the dude from the Animal and that one girl like I'm gonna have all those movies linked down below. But yeah, motherfuckers want energy swap so bad. Now look at you. Hmm. Yeah, they think you pressure this vacation, vacation, vacation memory is key. So they like, yeah, how you going on these fucking vacations? I remember you saying this, this, and that, and all of a sudden you on fucking vacation. Or all of a sudden you got this glow up. Or all of a sudden you able to, like I said, go out to eat and hang out with these people and get things done that you were struggling to get done. How are you doing this? What is bothering this person about my collective being pressure licious? What is what is bothering these people about this Pisces being pressure licious? What is bothering these people about this Pisces being pressure licious? I just see one of my names first. What is wrong with these people thinking that Pisces is pressure licious? What is the problem? Hmm. I got the 10 and the 9 of Pentacles in reverse. Again, they look at you like you're less than them. So how the fuck are you doing this? And y'all just seen me shuffle the fuck out these cards. How are you doing this and have less than them? Or in their eyes, you have less than them. You could be doing good for yourself. You just ain't got what they got. But again, I be telling people, like, everybody lifestyle ain't the same. Not everybody budget is the same. Not everybody looks at money the same. Not everybody resources is the same. Not everybody's connection to God is the same. Y'all need to stop fucking pocket watching folks. And like I was just telling my homegirl the other day, I'm like, yo, I'm tired of going out. Every time I go outside, then I'm spending, like, a blue strip. Like, no. I'm like, I'm going to go back to them days when I used to go outside with no money and have a ball. Nigga, like, what? What is you talking about? And and come home with some money, bitch. What you fucking talking about? Like hell to the no. Like we need to go and take that shit back. We we need to go back to the drawing board because what the fuck happened? Okay. Why is this person upset about this vacation? Or y'all could have went somewhere together. Like if even if it's not your friend or something like this, let's be somebody from your city or somebody or so. Like I said, somebody who just know you in general. Like. Whoever this person is, y'all could have been on vacation together. Family, friend, stranger, whatever. Because like he said, we used to live in the same building, on the same floor, never met before until I'm overseas on tour. How the fuck y'all live in the same building, on the same floor, ain't never met, ain't never fucking talked. Y'all go all the way the fuck over here across the fucking country and meet. 
it become cool. You feel me? Like, all right, you following me? What's going on? Why is this person upset about this vacation? The Empress. You the Empress. I'm hearing at first sight. Love at first sight. Love on the brain, Rihanna. Must be love on the brain. That's got me feeling this way. The way you loving me. Don't stop loving me. And I'm hearing, put that pussy on me. Hey, you better put that on me. Hey, you better put that pussy on me. I ain't going to say a word. I know you with my little homie. Somebody could have went on a vacation with somebody that they wasn't supposed to go on vacation with, or they didn't know this person was connected to a person or something like that. And that's how they know you press your licious. Because it's like, how the fuck this person only met you on a vacation and stuff on you like that? And this person could be with this person for I don't know how fucking long, and they don't, they never got that type of um, response out of them. Take it however it resonates. What, what was the Empress doing on this vacation? I just seen the Three of Pentacles. So, something about a third party contract. What was this Empress doing on vacation that has this person? Mm, third party contract. So, somebody could have been went behind somebody's back and got married. This could have been somebody tricking behind somebody's back. Like, a um, you know. I ain't a prostitute, but pay for the view. Okay. I ain't got a fuck thing. He already made his mind up before he came. Okay? Let's be clear. I quit fucking all my old niggas last year. This ain't even in your bracket. <laughs> Walk in. You know, take a nigga that's automatic. Okay? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Yo. There's going to be somebody seen y'all on vacation or something. They could have went back and told. Ever since they went back and told, this person been stalking you. Or again, I'm seeing like with Peter Goods, how he went and married Amina, knowing damn well he was fucking with Tara all them years. And then was going back and forth between Amina and Tara. That, that Peter Goods shit, like some shit like that could be going on as well. Like everybody living the same city same state but don't nobody really know each other like that but yet all this stuff is being done up under each other's noses like it's crazy i'm hearing jack harlow he was like he was like i got five girls he's like i'm from new york i got five girls that means i got one of each girl like y'all can live somewhere where it's real big like motherfuckers ain't just running to er motherfuckers every day Okay, with this breach of contract as well. Okay, this could be somebody going, like, I'm also seeing which way is up. This could be somebody having a whole another family somewhere else. Cause I'm seeing this deadbeat too as well. And it's infested. And this stuff about children, people speaking on things with children. Or, like, you working for them. And they're, like, looking at you like, you know what I'm saying? What is going on with this breach of contract? What is going on with this breach of contract, Spirit? What's going on with this breach of contract? Get me. It's more to it than, uh, than money children need. What is going on with the breach of contract with this? What's going on with my Pisces dealing with a dead bee? It's more to it than money children need. All right, that goes for that. Okay. What is going on with this dead bee? It's more to it than children need. But what did come out was the two of wands. So, I'm, like I said, like, it's somebody who's looking. It's two different outlooks on things. Like, people do not look at money the same, taking care of kids the same, running a household the same. Like, somebody is not on the same wavelength. Like, it's two different fucking opinions that will never fucking match. What is going on with this dead man? The tower. The tower. Somebody's going to be exited out of somebody's life. Or like I said, somebody's about to quit taking care of these kids. It's going to be a tower moment. It's going to be put to rest. This four swords. 
But I'm hearing like these kids ain't going to want you to go. They're going to want you to stay because it's like you're more of a mother or father figure than their actual parent. Like the kids are going to be trying to like manifest you back. I forgot what movie that was. I'm going to have it linked down below. But yeah, even if this is like the type of thing where these kids was giving you a hard time, they was giving you a hard time because they're used to people giving up on them. They're used to this demonic infestation. They, As kids, they're trying to figure out, hey, are you going to do them like everybody else does them? Are you going to give up on them like everybody else does? Are you going to talk to them like everybody else does? But they notice that you don't have that type of heart. So now that you're out of the picture or going out of the picture, or they heard those words through the wall of you speaking up on these situations, it's breaking their heart that you are leaving. No more baby showers. What are you thinking? So, yeah, you tell this person, like, stop popping out all these fucking kids. Like, why are you popping out all these kids and you can't fucking take care of them? Yeah, with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You, like, fuck that money, fuck your kids, and no more baby showers for you. Like, bitch, go get your tubes fucking tied. Like, go tell somebody who gives a fuck. And then with this low income, why pay more when you can pay less? Like I said, it's someone out here, like, y'all have two totally different outlooks on the world. Why pay more when you can pay less? Somebody like, oh, you cheap, you this, 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 that. How you think the rich stay rich? It's not about getting to it. Any Everybody has the same getting to it. And and even with then, I used to look at that a little different. Like, no, because some people is born with money. You're going to be born with money and fuck it up and not have no money. You fuck up the whole legacy. You'll be born with nothing and build a whole legacy. So take that off the table. It's about, it's not about what you know. It's about who the fuck you know. It's not about where you at. It's about where the fuck you're going. Hold on one second. Like I was saying, it's not about the... But, you know, it's about the who the fuck you know. That's why they say that shit. Just like today, I was seeing that little um, TikTok today. The girl was talking about some, all the math teachers need a raise because, you know what they say? They said a negative plus a positive will always equal a negative. She was like, that wasn't applying to no damn math. That was applying to people in general. If you're a positive person surrounding yourself around something negative, it's automatically going to be negative by default. But if you're a positive person surrounding yourself by a positive, you're going to be positive by default. Even if you don't got it all the way together, that's where that fake it till you make it comes in. Okay? But yeah, somebody is really taking the time to be like, you know what? Why why do this when I could be doing this? Why do this when I could be doing that? I'm hearing, why sell myself short when I can motherfucking sell myself big? I'm hearing, stop thinking... A small bitch think big. Breaking and entering OB Bobby Johnson. Infested. Okay. So again, this could be somebody wanting you to be a product of your environment so fucking bad, but you are steadily changing. And then I'm also hearing this could be kids acting out because they don't have no guidance. So I'm going to get both of those first i want to get the person like what is this energy surrounding like somebody wants them to be a product of their environment so bad yeah somebody somebody wants you to be a burden or feel burdened somebody wants you to be a burden or feel burdened so or some or these kids feel like burdens to their parents you're the first person that made them feel like they were not a burden what is going on with kids that are acting out what is going on with this energy with the kids acting out seven uh, no eight of pentacles in reverse they feel like all the hard work that they doing doesn't matter all the hard work they do goes unnoticed again you could have been the first person to notice the hard work that they put in to actually take effort it's more than money that children need there's nothing wrong with giving a kid a high five. There's nothing wrong with telling a kid they did a good job. There's nothing wrong with telling the kids you love them. There's nothing wrong with telling the kid that they're beautiful. Okay? There's nothing wrong with telling a kid, like, hey, that's not the right way, but you want to learn how to do the right way? Instead of calling them fucking stupid and dummies and that they never going to be nothing and just saying 
calling them idiots and shit. Like, you can't fucking do that. And then you expect them to sit here and be happy about themselves and feel good about themselves and behave right? No. They're going to be acting the fuck out. Or if you're, or if you're the type of person pushing the parent, other parent away who does have a nurturing spirit or something like that, because you're not nurturing, you're jealous, you, you can't... Of course it's going to be infested with demonic energy. You can't be fucking doing that shit. But it's going to be the outcome for the kids. No, for real, we didn't even know about these fucking kids. But it's going to be the outcome for the kids in this situation. Because I know that my prices probably feel bad, but sometimes you got to walk away. Like, some things... If you instilled what you were supposed to steal in them kids, them kids always going to remember that. Just know that. My nose over here running. Somebody could have been crying a lot. Yeah, King of Swords. These kids are going to be feeling like they're not heard. These kids do not feel heard when you are not around. It's so sad. What else is going on with these children? Or is going to be going on with these children? What is going to be going on with these children? What is going to be the outcome for these children that is involved? What is going to be the outcome for these children involved? Oh, the three swords. So I'm hearing they're gonna have to get like a new babysitter, or this is like like you actually walking away from this job because you had to speak on the situation. I'm seeing the sitter when he told the husband he was wrong for cheating and stuff like that. And then I got the three of wands in reverse. It's like you you want to hear this person out, but it's like, no. Like, your way of fucking thinking is crazy. Like, your way of thinking is nowhere. Like, why do you think everything in your life is the way the fuck it is? Because I'm sitting here trying to give you the gems of this world and you are being stubborn. You don't want to listen. That's why your manifestations are not coming out stable. Past, present, or future. And this person is not going to listen. Whoever you are telling this to, or if this is you, somebody's trying to come in and tell you this, but you're not listening, Pisces. So take it, whether you, whatever part of the fence you own. That's crazy. Okay, Spirit, can we get some prayer messages? Can we get some prayer messages for this Pisces reading? 3747 on my clock. On my clock, clock. What is going on? What prayer messages do my Pisces need to be in at this time? Set your mind on things above, not on things of earth. Colossians 3 2. So then I just say, like, everybody looks at things different. Like I said, in a, um, of course, it's reading. Drop down below what these prayer messages mean to you. I need to make sure that you guys are doing the work for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Be nice, be kind. Drop down what it means to you. Spirit, what else do my Pisces need to know at this time? What other prayer messages do they need to know at this time, Spirit? What other prayer messages do my Pisces need to know at this time? Thank you. In the reverse. I will see you again, and your hearts will be full of joy. No one can take your joy from you. So maybe you told these kids this, but they kind of don't believe it. But like I said, kids going to remember what you instill in them if you instill the right shit. And they going to know who on the fuck shit. But all this acting out is just to get attention. When kids are not used to something and they're crying out for help, they're going to do shit like that. But you're telling them, set your mind on things. Uh, yeah, set your mind on things. Set your thing. Set your mind on things above, not things of this earth. Colossians three two, and the reverse. Psalms sixty two five. My soul is quiet and waits for God alone. My hope comes from Him. Psalms sixty two five. Yeah. Sometimes you just gotta bite that fucking bullet, girl, because motherfuckers are not gonna listen. 
or already got their mind made up. I love the Lord because he hears my voice in my prayer. Psalms 116.1. Oh, child. Ashe, 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 yeah. Masse, Masse, gracias, gracias, everyone who stayed to the end of this Pisces reading. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got all your gems that you needed. Be looking forward to all the Zodiac readings dropping um, the first week of April. All right. And explore the page. I'm going to have to do another reading. That was my confirmation right there for myself. But yeah. Uh, Nation Melon Gang, Melon and Pop, Melon and Take It Over, period. Ciao. <laughs>